In this video, I will show you how to connect Go High Level with Make.com. To do this, first you want to go and open up Make, and within Make, go to Create Scenario. Now here, just going to select Build from Scratch, and just close this. Then click on the big plus, and from here you want to select Webhooks. Then here, set it to a webhook response, so it creates a response to the webhook. That's what you want to do. Now the status, just keep it the same and click Save. Now here in webhooks, just gonna set it to a custom webhook, which triggers when webhook receives data. So select the custom webhook and then click create webhook. From here, select the name for it. So for example, I'll do go high level and then here click save. So now here you will get a link. What you want to do is just copy the address to the clipboard by clicking on the button right here. Now open up go high level and go to automation. And here you want to now set up a new workflow, just start from scratch. And here for the trigger set, whatever you want to have trigger, what you want to set to make.com. For example, a contact created or a pipeline stage updated, Facebook lead form submitted, just any of this you can use as a trigger. I'll use the contact created one and just click save trigger. From there, click plus. And as the second step, you want to add a webhook. So just select a webhook right here and then paste in the URL and for the method set it to post and click save action although you can also add custom data but if you go to the standard data here it will open up there click on doc and usually the standard data will be enough for example for a contact they will set all of the things you see right here at the top it will set first and last name full name email phone tags address one and so much more which for me is more than enough but if you want you can also add custom fields now from there click save action and then you have created the webhook now for now what you can go and do is go back to make and currently you can see make is a listening for the data and will determine the data structure for the incoming data automatically so what you want to do on go high level just click test workflow and here select one of your contacts doesn't really matter which one and click run test now go back to make and now it should come in right here as the test data that you just sent or actually first you want to go and click save in the top right and then do the test workflow then it will work you can see now it's successfully determined now from here just click on save and now you can add another module for example you can have it connect to google sheets or to open ai whatever you want to connect it with you can select that right here for example google sheets and then add a row and then here you can just create the connection but basically make has now determined the data structure and you can now import this into for example google sheets or you can have it go through an ai module first where you filter out data for example or you can just have a filtering module in their tools you can do whatever you want to do now but what you want to do is first just add a trigger in go high level then have a webhook with the url being the url of your webhook in make and then the method post and then whenever this trigger happens then the webhook will go through and it will then send the data from the trigger to make.com and you can then use it for whatever you need it right there so now you know how to connect go high level with make.com if this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel with that being said, I will see you in the next video.